Hey there! In this video I will tell you a little bit more about the sounds that I used to create my cover version of Oxygen 7 by Jean-Michel Jarre. You can find this video on YouTube as well. So, how did I do it? Let's find out! The main lead sound was not created using the GP8000, as you can see me playing here, but was in fact created with a VST plugin which I created myself, called Orion 1. And it has uh, two oscillators, one with a triangle wave and the other one with a uh, ramp wave, combining this to the uh, lead sound you hear right here. The other lead sound is coming from an expansion board, which is in the XP50, and it is a uh, Mellotron string sound. The bass and sequence part are actually two parts combined. One is a bass sound coming from a uh, Poly6 VST plugin, and the other one is a sound coming from the GP8000. They're both triggered by a step sequencer, which I created myself with a synth edit called Apollo. And I made a setup with the BCR2000 controller to control the step sequencer. The drum sounds are coming from the Roland SPD-11 and are mainly old analog drum sounds. The string sound is a preset from an expansion board in the XP50, a Solina string ensemble. In the second part of the song I use an effect which I created in the Boss SE50 effect processor, which has a phaser effect, and that signal is going through a SDE1000 digital delay to add some extra delay effect. The background choir sound is a sample which is played in the EMU ESI 2000 sampler. The noise and effect sounds are coming mainly from the MS-20 using a lot of noise sounds and LFOs. Another noise sound is coming from a VST plugin, which again I created myself and is controlled by the Evolution MIDI controller. The tingling sounds are coming from the GP8000 using a sample and hold. To create the real Jean-Michel Jarre noise effect, the noise from the MS-20 is going through the SE50 phaser effect. So that's it, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm working on a new album right now, which has a lot of uh, analog sounds to it, a lot of Jean-Michel Jarre influences, and I hope to release this album uh, by the end of this year, 2008. So uh, stay tuned, thank you for watching.